Okay, ladies and gents, welcome along to another episode of my Doom playthrough right here. We have blown through the first two chapters over the last two weeks, which were Knee Deep in the Dead and The Shores of Hell. And tonight, we challenge the Inferno chapter, chapter 3. This is the original Doom Old School 1993 schlocky goodness right here. And we are going to be playing it on Ultra Violent mode, which is, uh, as I mentioned in the past, it's the toughest mode with it respawning characters, with it respawning enemies. So, uh, without further ado, we're going to jump on in there. If you want to chat to me, please do hit up on the uh, chat there on the side or hit me up on Facebook or on Twitter. Galway Gamer pretty much all the way around there. I'm going to go for Inferno. And we're going to hit this, as I mentioned, on ultra violent mode. The nightmare mode is exactly what it says in the game because everybody respawns and it's crazy difficult. It really, really is. But ultra violence gives us uh, maximum enemies. And if you're playing Doom, why would you not want maximum enemies? So here we go. Now, straight off the bat, this is going to be a very, very tough playthrough. Uh, mainly because of these first couple of levels here you see this level um gives you very very little in the way of ammunition it gives you zero armor for for the best of my knowledge and it uh gives you quite a few enemies to cut through even though it's quite a short level it is very very tough and it lines you up for the next level so it's all about trying your best to hold on to as much ammunition as you can for the next level because that's not going to be easy neither. So whether or not we survive, whether we excel this evening, all depends on how this first level goes. Oh, level 3.1. And so far, not going great. I'm down to 40% health already. As I said, there is no armor to be uh, gathered around here. And these Kako Demons are, uh, they take a lot of bullets. Now, usually you rip through a Kako Demon in about 40 or 50 shots with a chain gun. Chain gun uses the same bullet as your handgun right here, but in much, much quicker succession. Now, get that health because we need it. And we're gonna run for that shotgun and we're gonna open fire immediately. I'm trying to take these guys out. Now, as I said, it's all about trying not to miss in this level to try and conserve as much ammo as we can for the following level. Oh, tough, tough stuff this evening. There is, to the best of my knowledge, there is only one secret in this level as well. And that is at the very, very end. Oh, these boys are fighting. I'll let them at it just to conserve my ammo as much as I can. As much damage as that uh, imp can do on that Kako Demon will be phenomenal. There we go. Perfect. All right. That's not a bad start. We got a couple of pinkies. If a fleshy got squished under the door. Uh, I'm gonna get to as I'm gonna get as close as I can to these pinkies before opening fire again, just to conserve ammunition. Uh, sometimes you can take a pinky out with two shotgun shells instead of three if you're close enough. All right. As I said, very, very short level. And these little scraps of ammo here are, uh, armor here are all the armor you can gather in this level. Imps, imps for days. I am also going to be uh, saving mid-level quite a bit throughout this playthrough, uh, because I have to. If not, we will be sent back to the start of the level and I could do without that. Now, I've been playing on Xbox over the last few days, so it turned out that the triangle button here uh, is my map button. I was supposed to switch there, switch my, uh, there we go. 
All right, it looks like we've got everything we need with a massive 4% armor. Let's go. All right, not too bad, 100% all around there. We will save as soon as we jump into this level here, um, because the attacks come almost immediately here. And I don't want to be caught with my pants down. Uh, there should be a couple of pinkies, maybe even specters. There's that guy there with a shotgun. And it's pinky time. Yeah, he's a little closer than I'd like him to be, that's for sure. Excellent, two for one on that shot. I see armor, I would like to pick it up. I do, I risk getting in the middle of that right now. I think we don't have to. Yoink. Get those shotgun shells as well and get up out of there as fast as I can. I'm gonna have a quick peek through here just in case there's anything I'm missing. This is an interesting level because the map itself uh, looks like a hand. I will show you a little later on when we get an auto map or when we uh, progress a little further and open the map up. There we go. I, I'm pressing the wrong button here. My apologies. That's what I get for practicing on Xbox 360. Oh, specters are devilishly difficult to spot on uh, on PlayStation 4. There we go. And we are armed, but very, very barely. These lost souls get much closer, they can give you trouble. Like they're fairly uneventful enemies, but they take a lot of uh, a lot of firepower to take down. A surprising amount of firepower in fact to take down. I'm going to uh go through here and see if I can pick up anything that will help me out. A bit of supplies. Yoink. Go that little trap that I stood on right there should open this up, I believe. Hmm. I believe that one right Boop. there. Oh, sorry, it's that one there we stand on. Okay, and we'll take that chain gun. Not a whole lot of ammunition for it, but we will take it and we will push forward. start tinkering with these shoulder buttons if not that map is going to kill me I thought I saw a uh, lost soul float along here I did there's another one behind me oh my there's a few of them Somewhere in here is a whoop. I'll take that. And that. Oh, hi, homeboy. Is a berserker box. That's what we need. There we go. We can punch specters to death now. Berserker box instantly makes you a tough guy. Not that going around just punching a uh, caco demon is a good idea, but hey. Yeah, that chain gun damage that I was speaking of earlier on. And now we've got some shotgun shells on our side. We're doing a little bit better. Again, this is ultra violence mode, which means that pretty much everything is a death trap. 
one of the main reasons I am taking my time around each of these corners. Now, of course, up there is where we should be traveling for, pretty much north. But I want to just take it slowly. I'm not one for sprinting through Doom. Never have been. Probably never will be. I like to take it slowly. I like to aim to get 100% kills on each level. That's pretty much my game plan when I play Doom. For better or for worse. More shells. Fantastic. Okay, we got 45 now. And a Kako Demon. We should have enough ammunition in this chamber to take him there. What's behind me? Another Kako Demon. Okay. Now up here will lead to a lot of cacos, to the best of my knowledge, quite a few. Up there will lead to a ton of lost souls, we will get to that eventually. And I have no bullets left, okay so it's going to be shotgun shells instead for all these shotgun totem dudes. one in each of those little holes but let's go pick a fight with the uh, Kako demons for the moment instead as it may lead us to some of the stuff we need there we go that wasn't so bad all right that was some big damage right there and we get the fist start punching these specters can't quite see them but I'm swinging for them, I can hear them hitting the deck. Now we're looking good, alright, right. Now we're going to quickly save. As I said, going to need a few quick saves along the way here. Uh, just to make sure that everything is going swimmingly. Now uh, we can pull up that auto map now. And as you can see, the entire level is shaped out like a hand. Which is really cool. I absolutely love it. It uh, looks very Halloween-y. Quite, quite devious. Now these gentlemen with the shotguns here, um, in general, not those particular lads because they're laid out in a kind of a funky way there, they're easy to take, it, take down, but in general, man, they're not to be slapped on. Because when they hit you, they hit you hard. Are uh, you here, you guys? One, two, three. He's dead. Let's keep pushing forward. Let those guys battle it out right there. There's a pinky and a lost soul. Place your bets now, ladies and gentlemen. Because I'm not getting in the middle of that. Taking a fight with that cackle demon there. That's fine by me. I remember the instruction booklet for the uh, PS1 version of Doom way back when. Uh, one of the tips was just to let the demons fight it out amongst themselves. Maneuver around so that uh, they get into compromising positions and pick fights amongst themselves and just. Let them at it. Let them do the hard work is what I said, and I completely agree. Save that ammunition because you're going to need it for the rest of the demons. Whew, that was tight right there. And as I've mentioned on the stream before, now the crack with those demons is that um, they don't fight amongst their own species. They, it's all interspecies fighting, which, uh, which kind of speaks volumes. However, the humans do. They will fight amongst their own species. Because humans are nasty. There's super armor over there. We will take that at the end of the level. We're not going to bring it with us right now. 
and I believe if we go back this way we should later on be able to get to a a supercharger a, uh, a mega health if you will oh I see you I see you I see you too Usually I wouldn't shoot a uh, rocket at Lost Soul because they propel towards you at such a speed that there's a good chance that you're eating the splash damage off your own rocket. But a group of them at a distance like that, it's a good way to just disperse the crowd. One rocket, maybe even two, into the middle of them and watch them all scatter. Now. Lost souls everywhere. There's one or two uh, specters of pinkies in this little, little dip right here too, I believe. Man, once you get the Berserker box in this game, you're a monster, an absolute killer. It's hard to see on the PlayStation 4 when they get that close. They just become a, a wealth of pixels, they really do. And it just tells me to open that one first, so naturally, I'm going to open this one instead. What did that do? I'm not sure. Oh, lovely. There we go. Excellent. Is there another one in the house? One of these meat. There we go. Okay, can I slip by this? No, I'll come back to it in a little while. Just to be sure so that I can get all the health and all the ammo before all the health and all the armor before we go to the next level let's see how we're doing we have opened pretty much everything so far it looks like there's still nook or cranny up there that i haven't been in but that's okay and there's the one with the arrow on it just beside the ring finger there um let's go down that way because i'd imagine there's probably another just swell of lost souls in there waiting for me waiting to taste my tasty flesh We just open it oh we can oh a plasma cannon okay excellent i wasn't expecting that i've never actually noticed that little uh a little arrow there before that is the end of the level i am going to again just give it a quick save here and we will try and slide down the side here pick up this ammunition slide back out without hitting that portal then we have 100 health that's looking good so we will sprint as fast as we can through this way i believe and we should be able to get a super boost on our health also looks like there's a closed door around here let's see if we can get to it nope just looks like this one here unusual okay we will pick up this health those rockets and we will go around to the pinky finger right down the very end here and no that's not where it is at all is it? it's staying this way bingo i uh, don't think we've picked up a backpack yet but i'm looking forward to getting one um because that will double the amount of ammunition that we can hold and we're looking good now like i said that first level and the start of this level really really tough because you've got to set up for well for the rest of the chapter right there you really do and that's not easy so it's the case of conserving your ammo and taking things as slowly as possible and then throughout throughout that particular level you can start to start to feel like you're on top again so we're entering the next level then with 200 armor and 200 health so we're doing a little bit better they call it from pandemonium let's find out why First of all, we will save right here. This is one of my favorite levels. This one is lots of fun. Uh. 
it's one of those levels where it's easy to show off just what an absolute giant this particular shotgun is. It's amazing. It's probably my favorite shotgun out of any video game ever. It's an absolute tyrant. And you can use it for almost any scenario. I'm not sure which one of those will win. Oh, the cat could even took him down. Unfortunately, he did not survive to celebrate. Those hugely disorientating walls back there, like moving around of their own accord. And here we go, we got a fight out of the Baron of Hell right there. If one of those green slobs hits me, I'm gonna find myself in major trouble. Luckily enough, rockets deal with that guy pretty well. We might be overdoing it with shotgun here because we're running out of ammunition. Let's stock up as best we can. If you just tuned in, you are watching the Go Away Gamer here on Switch. We are playing uh, on Twitch. We are playing through the third chapter of the original Doom, OG Doom, right here. And we are playing on ultra violence mode because I do like a challenge. For better or for worse, I like a challenge. Saw an imp sneak around up there. Sounds like they both hit the deck. Not going in there right now. I might later on. I didn't hear him die. There he is, okay. Now we can take that and start running around in the uh in the junk over here, but uh let's come back to that in time. Okay, let's not do that just yet. I'm not confident enough of where it leads right now to uh, to commit to that maneuver. Now if we step up here, the one on the right should open. Here we go. With an auto map. Beautiful, all right. And this will make life a little bit handier. And we'll keep this one in mind for later on as it is right beside the blue door, which is pretty much where we exit this level at a later date. So uh, we'll leave that as is. Shoot some imps because it's doom and that's what we do. That's what it always boils down to, isn't it? Shoot more imps. Starting to skimp on the old ammunition. Uh, it looks like I have 70 bullets left in my chain gun though, which is nice. Uh oh, time to get out of here. We're gonna go around a long way. We're gonna try and ambush that guy. As he's a little too close to take on in there with a rocket launcher. Oh, hold up. I forgot that I picked one of these bad boys up. Let's see what we can do. It's a terrible idea. What was I thinking? <laughs> All right. Baron of Hell, uh, Baron of Hell, or Baron of Hell, whatever. Ah, uh, get the heck out of me. The journey one to do. And that music is all very midi this evening. We 
we are going to duck in here real quick like and pick up that chain gun and back out as quick as we can now with hell slime right there if you move fast enough you will not take damage which is nice oh speaking of taking damage i think we're in a compromising position right here we need more ammunition for our um i'm coming right backwards backwards that's the issue so let's go around the long way i need more ammunition for my shotgun i'm just not confident without it genuinely so let's go uh let's go this way okay There is a box of shotgun shells. That is pretty much the end of the loop you saw me in just a moment ago. Let's take these bad boys then. And there we go, that's exactly where I was standing. Oh, these specters, man. One of these days I'm going to get a chainsaw, they're going to be in big trouble. I think I might be getting a little too trigger happy with this shotgun. Uh, I might have to switch to uh, something else. Are they all dead? Okay, he survived. Berserker box, absolutely fantastic. Not only did that give me hyper strength to just punch demons to death, um, but it also gives, if you're under 100 health, it will boost you up to 100 health, which is fantastic. On the way there, onto this little footpath, and bring this up. Make use of that Berserker box against these pinkies. The one maybe two punches and they're down if you're dropping um that's something that that's more damage you're doing with an up close, than an up close shotgun so that's a huge amount of damage let's just check in case there is any anything else we're actually missing here because it seems like just all goodies we did get the backpack there and the backpack will give us the ability to carry twice the amount of ammunition that we had before it will also give me a little ammunition for each gun which which is nice oh, all right let's go up the main part here and we will quickly take it before we get ourselves in trouble there so yeah with the backpack now i can now ha uh, hold 100 shots for my shotgun which means i don't have to be afraid of uh uh, afraid of picking up a box of shells at pretty much any time. I can almost do it any time now without any of those shotgun shells going to waste. started just out there beside that pinky corpse okay <clears throat> excuse me a big creepy upside down robot face right in the middle the quickest way I'm gonna say this way 
that was a big cell that we picked up that's what that drop was for right there that is for my plasma cannon and um yeah you can always do it with plasma plasma cannon plasma energy or uh cells are split between two of your weapons which is the plasma cannon which is great fast paced kind of a kind of like a plasma machine gun almost and your bfg 9000 which is doomed equivalent to a smart bomb it's crazy damage and gives crazy damage to everybody in the room at the same time now we are going to go for the blue key but first let's go up here what is up here i'm not so sure hot 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 Got a mega armor of it, would worth it. And that is the uh, right hand side of where it started off then. Alright, we're cleaning up. It's taking a little time, but we're cleaning up here and we're getting a lot of kills along the way. We are ha aiming for 100% kills. Shotgun! Now we can head towards the blue door, which is toward the end of the level. We're going to clear out right the room there. I believe it's full of imps. Um, it should be just up here. Now, I was mentioning about being able to pick up boxes of ammunition whenever I wanted, because I'm after picking up the, uh, the backpack. And look, I'm now carrying 72 shots for this thing. That's making all the difference. Genuinely. Right, that is the exit. We don't want to go there just yet. Right. We want to pick up the mega armor and see if we can find maybe a mega health somewhere. Oh! Is that a shotgun blast? Who hit me? Who on earth hit me there? Oh, oh, that one guy. Man, I did not see that coming. All right, we're going to take this. And we are going to go into the slime right here, which is where I think that guy just came from. Lovely. That is a mega health. Quickly gonna have a look around to see if there's anything else hiding around here, like a BFG 9000! Alright! Now, I believe just across the way is the Mega Armor. That's what we're aiming for next, and then we will exit the level. Genuinely didn't know there was a BFG 9000 there, that's fantastic news. That puts us in a really good position, and everything by the shotgun, uh, by the chainsaw is now in our possession. We're officially a killer machine. All right, things are looking very, very good right here. We've got 100% kills, items, and secrets. We've got a BFG 9000. We've got a handful of rockets. We've got about 70 shots in our shotgun. And we are going to push Gamer or Go Away Gamer FM, as I believe the tag is here on Twitch. If you want it, if you want to get involved and want more of this kind of shenanigan, well then please do follow me on Twitter. That is at the Go Away Gamer. There's also the Facebook page, which is facebook.com forward slash Go Away Gamer. And of course, you can check me out each Thursday at 2 p.m live on Flirt FM 101.3 if radio is your jam and why would radio not be your jam radio should be everybody's jam it's amazing and here we go they call this one the house of pain the house of pain is in effect y'all and anyone who steps up is getting wrecked or so the song says now if you're not familiar with uh, the comings and goings of the original Doom you might be wondering why I'm using 
the shotgun shells on the pinkies instead of taking them on with a berserker box which is going to be picked up earlier on that is because the berserker box only lasts for one level as soon as you exit that level the berserker box is gone so you've got to find another one in the next level before you can punch a pinky to death there you could still do it but it's going to take a lot of time a lot of patience and a lot of punching and to be honest considering pinkies have to get up close and personal with you considering their whole game plan is to get their jaws on you it's not really a good plan to uh to engage them without a berserker box not head to head not that close chainsaw also does the job if you can funnel them correctly and there is the berserker box right there and there is all the pinkies in the world let's move Including a couple of spectres right here. I don't think the spectre got me. I think the slime beneath me got me there. All right. Kind of waiting for that lost lost soul to show back up. He's just hanging in there. Is that okay? Because we can take him out from here. And we got a Berserker box once again. Okay. And we got to keep in mind that there is a Mega Armor here. We can come back and get that near the end of the level to uh, to make us look good for the next level. Make us look fresh in that armor. I want to get close enough to pick up that bullet clip. But I don't want the armor. There we go. Okay. I uh, don't think there's anything in here. Of what? Nope. It's just where those uh, where those guys were hiding, where those spectres were hiding, so they could get the jump on me. It's a cool jump scare. If you don't know what's coming, it'll get you, man. It'll get you. And we're gonna switch over to our plasma cannon right here. Because there's a lot of action to be had out there. I have no idea if there are any humans left out there, so I don't want to go out with the Berserker. There we go. Okay. Give me a one, two, three. I'll bring everything up in the order we need it. But we don't want to stick around because we will have our heads crushed. Let's get that God Mode in there. And start punching absolutely everything we see. Those god orbs are amazing. I'm invulnerable for the next moment or two. And with the berserker box as well, I can just punch through everybody. But let's not get ahead of ourselves or we'll find ourselves in big, big trouble. That's quite a horde of pinkies right there. Separate them up one by one. I'm looking out for the Lost Souls because the Lost Souls can get to jump on you very, very quickly. Now you can sidestep and let them fly by, but um, you've got to be on point. And I do not want to end up in a fist fight with a Lost Soul. That Pinky, however, he does. He doesn't care about the rules, man. The rules are for chuds. Demons do their own thing. As I mentioned last week, the chain gun is amazing for taking down Kako demons, as it pretty much freezes them in position, frame traps them, and gives them a very difficult time for getting shot, shot off at you. Yes, it will eat a lot of your ammunition, but it's certainly worth it. Yeah, the big mama jamma. That's the one I was expecting to ring off a few bullets, in, have a few rockets into. Beautiful. Down he goes. He is out. 
sick mess on the ground right there. We get the blue skull key. I love the fact that at the start of this game, when everything is still on Mars, everything's really cyber, and it's all key cards and security cards. As you go deeper into the game, then it gets switched out for skull keys as hell just starts to take over. And of course, you get really gruesome imagery like this in front of me right here. This wall does open. I'm not sure why it's not opening right now. There we go. See, there are traps everywhere in Doom. Absolutely everywhere. My plan is always to uh, try and trigger those traps myself so I don't get to jump on them. If I know something's going to come out of a wall, I will try and trigger it so that I can take them down. And as opposed to them being able to unload into my back at any given time. There's a Kako Demon waiting in here for me. Very, very close combat here. Very, very enclosed combat and if he had gotten one shot off at me there he would have done a lot of damage we're gonna pick all of these up because why not and let these lads come out far enough to uh do a little damage with those barrels here we go speaking of barrels Now, I've mentioned it before, but um, being able to switch easily between weapons is a must for Doom. And it's something that both this version and the Xbox 360 version is missing. Instead, I've got to scroll through weapon by weapon, as you're seeing now in real time, in order to pull up the weapon I need. If I was playing this on the original PS1 or on Super Nintendo even, I'd be able to double click, triple click and pull up the weapon I need at any one time which makes life a lot easier especially in combat conditions and it's missing here and I feel it a lot I really really do considering specific weapons are best for specific situations I really miss it Okay, I am going to be cheeky here and lob a rocket or two in there and hope for the best. Damn. Again, I am scrolling through slowly to get to my shotgun there. That's, that's the issue. Which leads to these boys being able to uh, flank me from behind at this stage. That is indeed the issue. But we're still doing alright. We still have quite a bit of health on us. Open this one up. Get those barrels out. Thank you very much. Open this one up. Get that BFG 9000 right there. not looking so uh I can use the shotgun did you see that light up right there there we go another issue with this version is that sound unfortunately it just becomes all static when you start when you start firing something really rapid fire like that, it becomes all static and it, uh, it's not pleasing on the ears. Now that was a supercharged back there, we don't need it right now, but we might need it later, so we're going to leave it there. And there is a super armor, a couple of, uh, a couple of rooms back as well. So at this stage, I think it's a good place to uh, do a quick mid-level save here. Okay. 
do I have a berserker box in this level? I do, don't I? I do. Oh. Let's use it. On these guys. Hey, gents. Man, considering I've got a berserker box, he took a lot of hits there. It makes me wonder exactly which way that Berserker box works. Sometimes you kill them with one hit, sometimes it's hit, what, that took four, maybe five punches? We're in trouble. Oh, excellent. Let those fight it amongst themselves. I'll take the, these other two in the meantime. And lovely, lovely. That means that I don't have to deal with the spectre right there. I'll take those shells with me. There are a lot of imps here, but I want the guys with the guns. Because they can unload on me instantly. And if they're packing a shotgun, they can do big, big damage. I can see the fireballs come at me slowly with imps. You don't have that luxury. With a shotgun, a <laughs> shotgun all right there. Two of them just showed up in a row. Proving my point right in my face right there. Okay, excellent. Uh, I'm not sure which way to do this arrangement right here. getting towards the end of this level now we're doing all right oh that was a stroke of luck as i said i genuinely don't know which way i should be doing that so uh i am hitting those skill buttons at random and hoping that they open up the ones that i need that is just closing ones everywhere is it There's a bit of carnage to be had here, so I think it might be time to go uh, plasma. Hmm. Maybe I can survive with just the uh, just the chain gun. That's not too bad. All right. Each of those little uh, nooks on the right-hand side seem to hold bad guys so I don't want to sprint in there just yet I also want to get in here because I'm not sure what's in there and I want it and now I know okay I feel better about life in general where did he come from Again, those shotguns are just doing crazy damage. Let me hit that door again and uh... There we go, lovely. Now, I'm going to do something extra sneaky here. I'm going to leave that uh, suit right there. I'm not going to bring it right now. I'm going to come back and get it later. Instead, I'm going to take a bit of a run back here. <coughs> Ow. Hmm, which way was it? I believe it was in here. No, 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 sorry. I am going the wrong way altogether. I got to go back to those two pillars of skulls. I have got to... Run around here. Again, this is as good as any for a quick save. I'm going to... 
grab this and leg it. So we can get a coffee for the Take it the bag, guys. Including this big mama jammer right here. stairs here somewhere but it, this bit's very awkward here we go I think this is a good position there are a couple of pinkies and the idea it, here basically is they want you to fall down one of the little nooks right there and get savaged by pinkies and pinkies will take you apart in a couple of seconds if i had ran right off there i would have dropped in i would have been annihilated in an instant and uh, luckily enough that didn't happen and this is the exit okay oh hi kaku demon The reason I waited by the door there for a second instead of opening it immediately was just in case he was letting off a shot so that I didn't open it and eat that shot. Now we are going to run back, we are going to pick up as much ammo and everything else as we can, sprint across this, it's going to hurt just a little but it's okay, we've still got 131 health. We will pick up everything we can from here on in. The shotgun shells, a couple of health bonuses, lovely job. Mega armor, there was also a mega sphere. I'm just gonna do a quick run around, see if there's anything else I'm missing along the way. How many? One tree tree bullet. Okay, could definitely do with more of those. Could definitely do with more rockets and uh, plasma cells, also. But of course, they do crazy damage, so they're quite hard to come by. Just clean it up here if you will. Okay, there is no other ammo to be had that I can see. I can see something going on in my uh, bottom left there, just over where it says E3M4. I'm not entirely sure what I'm missing there, but I won't go back and have a look. If it's on the way, if it's not, that's that's fine that's okay let's have a look ah I see what it is it is all of this all of this absolute nastiness you see before you um And I don't believe we can actually get in there. That poor guy's still twitching. Look, this is hell, ladies and gentlemen. I don't think you can actually get in there, but that's why it's only showing up at portions here on my um, on my auto map. Well, let's continue forward. We're going to take a big run for this. Nope. Wait, we need to supercharge. Let's go get supercharged. Okay, we lost one or two health along the way there due to the health slime. It's no biggie. It shouldn't be enough. It shouldn't be a game changer. Let's put it like that. It shouldn't be enough to completely upset things. Well, luckily enough, we can get back across this health line thanks to this little secret right here. Drop down here, through here, sprint up on this one, and boom. That's another level in the bag. Oh, I missed some kills, oh no! 
Oh, I was hoping to get a hundred, but I, I missed some kills there. That was a huge level. Power score is uh, two minutes thirty, man. It took me twenty minutes. But let's take forward. We're almost there. We are getting through the third chapter piece by piece here on the original 1990s Doom. Man, I love this game. I really do. However, I hate the level. I really do. This one has a lot of teleporting over and back. It can get quite, quite tedious. Let's go out this way so we can go in the leftmost door up here. Uh, which will lead us to a fight with a bunch of imps. But we can keep them all contained within this little room pretty much. Beautiful. Looked like um, looked like that pinky took a shot from the imp, but they didn't start fighting amongst themselves. And I think the reason is because I'd already started a fight with the pinky, therefore I was his target. He didn't care about the imp. The imp just happened to be there. Chingun Cha Cha once again. Now that blink right there is him trying to get a shot out, but there's just not enough time for him to do that in between shots from that chain gun. It's very, very rare that they'll actually get that shot out. It does happen from time to time. But not often. Oh, with one bullet left in the chamber there. Not going in there yet. That looks like trouble. Looks like trouble. That's not it to the teleporters either, so we're pretty much just skimming the uh the perimeter of this level at the moment the center of it is the center of it is all um all teleporters with four big pillars in the middle each one containing i think some of them contain like they all contain monsters some of them contain a bunch of caco demons some of them contain like uh barons of hell or hell knights We're not going to go out there just yet. We also can't go through this door. But we do want to go through this one. I can see the spectres running around. I do believe there's quite a few lost souls in here also. Hi guys. They're having a very difficult time getting through that tiny door. Um, luckily enough, my shotgun shells are not having that issue. The joy of wearing headphones with this game is the fact that, like, I'm incredibly hard of hearing, I'm very hearing impaired. Um, but wearing headphones with this game to me that I actually get to hear that door open with the Baron of Hell there and he doesn't get to jump on me. Makes all the difference. Makes all the difference in the world. Now a bit of patience here so I don't get my head crushed. 
I reckon I could probably take one with this amount of health, but I would rather not. be some plasma again. I reckon I can probably get one or two sneaky shots in first. Alright, that's not too bad at all. Ah, he'll be back. Back, but I'm uh, incredibly cautious of him coming up behind me. Now, one teleporting thingy, perhaps he got crushed by the head crusher on the other side of that, uh, that teleporter. I don't know for sure, but I don't want to go in there to find out. I'll go the long way. Amazing just how much coverage you can get from a good door in this game. It really is. Um, we are back pretty much where we started now. We started outside that door. So this is probably as good a time as... Oh. <laughs> it just put them right back in the middle there. Poor dude caught in a loop. Um, I'm hoping he comes over here though, because I don't want to go out there. Not with him stuck in the middle. Okay, so we are going to jump out there. There is going to be a... At least one of these doors is going to open and we're going to end up in engaging some combat in, enclo in an enclosed area but we can get out of it. It's almost like a little arena which will let us say to the outer mode there which you can see. So it's a baron of hell. Okay and it's just one baron so it's not too bad. And we have a few rockets so give them one maybe two rockets and considering we have so much room to maneuver here we can probably do the rest with our trusty shotgun whoa that wall almost killed me great stuff The idea here is pretty much to find, uh, go through all of these different teleporters and end up back here each time which will unlock another one of these doors. Um, and one teleporter gets us out and let me have a look, I believe it's this one over here to the right of that hanging body. That's uh, the one that gets us actually out of there. Lovely. And let's find out if that uh, pinky survived. Don't see any sign of him. There's no squished corpse over here. There are no pinkies running wild around here. I don't know whatever happened to him. Intriguing. And here we go again with another Baron. Again, we'll give him a pair of rockets and uh, we'll switch back then to our shotgun. Which we have 92 shells for. Where'd he go? What? He's, he's enormous. Where did he go? He's like eight foot tall. How am I missing him? 
I see you. I thought I saw you. You trapped in the middle. There you are. All right, let's do this. I don't believe that will open them up. I think we have to come through one of those doors in order to open them up. And so we're looking for this teleporter over here once again. And through we go. That's the one with just this, isn't it? Let's try this one. Hmm. And just to be sure, make sure it is the one that we just did. That's not opening it up or anything else. Okay. Bring those bullets with us up. Uh, we're looking for the hanging corpse. One by the foot. Is it by the foot? By the feet. Both feet. There we go. Partial invisibility does very, very little for this game. Uh, I'm sure it's an absolute killer. Over in, uh, over in the multiplayer matches, both partial and visibility against AI does practically nothing. There's a fight to be had in here. Perhaps this isn't the time. I'll come back to that. get confused in this level it does get tedious as I mentioned at the start of it, it does get tedious it always confuses me it always turns me around quite a piece right we'll get in we'll run by the blue door we will go through uh, this door, which will lead us out here, allegedly. Let's do this one, let's do this one, let's try this one. Hmm. Have we gone as far as we can in this direction? not but let's do that we can go through there but there's nothing to be had down there but trouble which I could currently do without have I got a berserker box if not I'm not going in there yet there we go I heard monsters Another big baron. Which means the very last one is the one that's full of cackle demons. I do have a berserker box. I got it when I sprung up behind all those pinkies. Uh, where the partial invisibility is. Okay, so let's use that. Thank you for bearing with me on this one. I know it's uh, it's not the most entertaining of levels, but it does what it's got to do. That was a bad idea. All right, guys. Miss them with that shot right there. Excellent.
Yeah, I wanted the cells and I wanted the uh, the gun right there, which of course gives me more cells. I didn't want to pick up the the mega health. I can come back and get that at a later date. Speaking of health, we're doing surprisingly well so far, which I'm quite quite happy about. Because when you start losing health in Doom, you lose it quickly. Now, uh, which means I have quite a few... Oh, okay, cool. I'm fairly armed at the moment. So I should be able to go over to the blue... Mm, this is the one. Again, I'm going to save it on this one. Because this is a tough piece. But they come from everywhere. A fireball on my jumpy. Alright, where's the boss? Where's the big guy? There he is. Probably shouldn't have put that uh, plasma gun away. But hey, we did all right. All right. Bit of ammo for everything. And again, this is the egg that we don't want to leave just yet. We want to open that last door. And unfortunately, as much as I hate to admit it, I'm not entirely sure which teleporter will allow us to do that. Could be any, this is a big level. We're teleport jumping all over the place at the moment. give it one or two more tries and if we don't if we don't get there then we will push ahead to the next level at the moment we're looking good anyway we've got a uh, a lot of ammunition we've got a lot of armor a lot of health so we're not looking too badly some reason we ended up back at the start of the level <laughs> this one is hugely tedious it really is i'm just trying to open that last wall right there so i can pick a fight with whatever's in it which i believe is a uh stack of caco demons what the caco demons travel in herds stacks um a school let's go with a school of caco demons and then I'm happy to push along and finish the level off. I'll give it one or two more shots, see if we can spot the teleporter or if not, that'll be it. Admit defeat. Mr. Murphy, admit defeat. Not this one. That would be too obvious. Not that one because that one just looped me around. Just for fun, I go in here and pick a bit of a fight. Uh, 
that little tunnel right there looks like I should be able to get to it, but I'm never so stayed away too. Oh, well that sounds like cat goes to me. There we go, all right. gives us a yellow key card which means that we could go to the yellow door but I don't think I've ever seen a yellow door in this level so uh I just wanted the cackle demons that's what I was there for I wanted to take out those cackle demons and now they're dead so I'm gonna push forward on to the next level let's go man that was a long one that one took a while 20 whole minutes once again we missed 2% of the bad guys, chances are they were hanging by the yellow door. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that yellow door probably leads to the secret level. Um, I can't imagine any other reason that there would be a yellow door considering we exit through the blue door. So at Unholy, Unholy Cathedral sorted, we are on chapter 3, we are coming close to the end, there's only one or two levels left. So. Let's keep this lit. If you want to follow me, you can do so on Twitter, that is at the Galway Gamer, or, or on Facebook, that is facebook.com forward slash Galway Gamer. Let's do this thing. I love this level. There are so many bad guys in this level. This level is just ambush central. Genuinely. You can barely move without being ambushed. They throw absolutely everything at you this time around. And I'm going to be hugely honest with you, it makes it a ton of fun. Almost ate that shot right there. Oh, wait, that one instead. Oh, dear. Use the door for cover. They can't open it. Not from that distance. Which leaves me in control. Now I don't believe I know all the secrets in this one. Um, so there's a good chance that we're not going to get 100% in this one. But um, but that's okay. That is okay. We'll keep going anyway. Okay, so we've got the shotguns. The big guy down the end here that we need. then we can start sniping people from the windows but this big guy's got to drop first because he's hugely dangerous Woo, that was close somebody's hit me from outside How is this guy still alive? He's already taken a rocket as well. There we go. Shotgun guy looks like he might have picked a fight with an imp and lost down there. And he seems to be lying dead. I'm alright with that. In fact, dare I go as far as saying I'm happy with that. the rest of those caco demons go Are they just floating around the perimeter of this uh this little house right here this structure
I think there is one level level left after this one and then there's the boss level. I believe. There's a mega armor over there, let's keep that in mind. We don't need it just yet, but we might need it later on, so uh never count it out. These things always come in useful. I see a regular armor in the background as well. Regular armor is 100 armor. Mega armor gives you 200 armor. Oh, okay. I did not see that coming. I thought I'd already dealt with all of the cackles. Apparently that little guy just slipped through right there. And these are the pinkies that we could see from the window. And speaking of pinkies, that's that one or two shots into the middle of those guys. To the best of my knowledge, crossing uh, lava or hell slime right there doesn't actually damage enemies, it only damages uh, the player. Pretty much letting off a shot on these guys to, uh, as you can see, his mouth is open wide there, that means he's in attack mode. He seems to be stuck on the wall though, unfortunately. Uh, so I often let off a shot to put them in attack mode so they'll fly closer towards me Then I can get a good shot off at them and uh, do some real damage Alright, both of these walls open at some stage And that one And here we go, both of them are open now I thought they'd open one at a time. No such luck. I just sidestepped right into that fireball from the imp right there. Really didn't mean to. Now, the guys that you saw me take out long range here a moment ago, these guys are uh, strewn across the uh, lava here. They would have all been hiding right here, waiting for me. Since I said there's still a soul there. Unfortunately, I have infinite height. Therefore, they can take me out wherever they are. Um, there we go. Yeah, they would have all been hanging here, just waiting for me to drop down, and they would have savaged me alive. Which is why I like to take them a long distance from that little island over there. Even though you're guaranteed to take a bit of uh, damage coming back across the the uh, lava, the hell slime there, it's still kind of worth it. There is a chainsaw over there. Would a chainsaw be worth my while at this stage? Hmm. I'm going to say yes because it's a chainsaw. Of course it would. Oh my word! Let's get a rocket or two in there. And break up the crowd a little bit. How are we doing on plasma shots? Not too badly. Okay. Luckily enough in Doom, you don't have to look up or down. Um, I was mentioning infinite height. The player has infinite height, which means that uh, a pinky can get me a floor above me. Uh, a floor below me, even. But so do the bad guys. So basically everything operates on one plane. I can shoot far below a bad guy and to a position where I would miss him in any other game and still manage to clock him.
a pistol totals right there. Luckily enough, they don't do too much damage. The, uh, the shotgun guys again, they do he heavy damage. They look so cool from the side. You don't often see that view with a lot of soul. With a lot of soul, but they do look cool. Now I'm missing with a lot of these shots. They're going behind him, which is why he's still managing to get off those uh those fireballs from his eyes right there. Uh, there are a few little bits and pieces here. This little place down here I cannot manage to get into. I know the idea is to take a good run at a good angle and land right in it. I've never been so lucky. Now scrolling slowly through these weapons again. And again in the other direction. Here we go. This bit is crazy tough. They are going right over their heads there. They do have infinite height, but uh, apparently it wasn't registered right there. Alright, we're going to have to get out there and do this the old fashioned way. Man, which way is out? Back the way we came, I believe. Just down this way. Let's go, boys. Trading blows right there. I will launch a handful of uh, rockets into the middle there and let splash damage do what it's going to do. Aiming for the guy in the middle, just to try and get the two lads on each side there, uh, with the extra splash damage. I gotta keep that in mind for later on as well. There is Mega Sphere over there, and there is the Mega Armor back there, and that little green green hut over there. And we're doing all right. Let's bring this with us. Um, oh, and this. Let's bring that with us too. Now, do we have a berserker box? Oh, berserker box doesn't matter anymore. We've got a, a chainsaw. Which unfortunately replaces the berserker box in this variation of game. Just on the PlayStation 4. I've never had it happen on any other version I've bought over the years. And I bought a lot of Doom. I love this game. But it's not something I'm fond of. Now, both of them should be on zero. Uh, or on one, as you can see, they're not armed. They said they're two, three, four, two with the pistol, so on and so forth. So, pistol, shotgun, uh, chain gun. But on number one was always your fist. Now, number one is my chainsaw. It's not a good time, it's really not. It's unfortunate to say the least. So, uh, right here, take this. I hear, oh my word, they loaded them again! We are quickly running out of rockets right here. Oh wow, alright, I didn't think that would happen. I was expecting to run out of ammunition before I ran out of caco demons there, but uh, I'll take that. I think I think at this stage all the surprise attacks are already done they're already taken out so uh, we're gonna have to go around the outside and into the house line at this stage which I'm never fond of but sometimes it's just gotta be done there 
are one or two um, radiation suits scattered around. Perhaps picking one up now would be a good idea. Or indeed that invulnerability there would hugely help. There's a radiation suit, there's another radiation suit, there's a rocket. Yoink! And there's another one down there. So let's take a sprint for that one in the distance there. I hear monsters. And there they are, right on cue, okay. Where have you guys been hiding? Skim around the edge there. Get a few shots into this guy. And in he goes, okay. With the auto map and the suit. We'll aim for the suit first, because obviously. Oh no! What hit me? Let's move and let's move fast. Only reason I'm here right now is to pick a fight. Only reason I'm here. Okay. There's my suit to get back out with. And there's a few little nice looking bits and pieces there because why not? Okay, so the exit I believe is down the bottom there. No, it is over on the left hand side. So I guess what we're going to do is we're going to take everything we can from here. Including that suit. And we're going to run back out onto the mainland. to see if we can find that guy who shot me. Up, lovely. If I can find one more stimp pack, that would be absolutely gorgeous. The one in here by chance? There is not. There's a large medikit. I'll take that instead. Um, we're going to nab this one right here. And we're going to make a run for that mega armor. And make a run as fast as we can get back. Excellent stuff. You know what we can do then? We can take this uh, invulnerability up here. Which was... Hmm, I seem to have lost it. It was in the middle here, wasn't it? It was. Okay. That little arrow there. That's me. I've wrapped another one up. Okay, we killed everything. We missed one, maybe two secrets there. And we are dooming pretty hard here in a front limbo. I usually save straight away. I want to take these guys out first. There we go, never can save. and Kako Demons are the order of the day in this level. There are absolutely tons of them. There are some really sneaky bits as well. Uh, what do I say about pinkies? As you can see, they do everything they can to get around you, to flank you, to take it from all angles in order to, uh, well, in order to chow down. And it's wide open spaces like that.
that you really want your berserker box so you can just box a pinky demon and be done with it but unfortunately again in this variation of doom your berserker box has already been overtaken with your uh with your chainsaw now if there is a way around that if anybody knows please let me know because i'm honestly unsure but i miss it man do i miss it i hear that pinky where is he so basically berserker boxes are fantastic for taking out pinkies in wide open spaces where the chainsaw is the perfect weapon for taking them down in enclosed kind of tight little corridors you can funnel them through so they have to form a line in order to get to you and when they do that then well you can pretty much do it like the movie 300 you find yourself a little cubby and away you go for example there's a little cubby here i can hide in here there's only one way through and that's through this little doorway here this little corridor the pinkies have to get in there in order to get a go at me I don't seem to care tonight. And it puts you in control. It gives you the power. As I mentioned last week, once you stick a chainsaw into a pinky, you can hold it there and hold back on the run button. And that way, it makes it very, very difficult for them to actually get a bite at you. Pinkies. Pinkies and then more pinkies. That one got a bite at me. Again, a little corridor here makes it difficult for them to get through. That guy circling around got me in the back. armor there you gotta keep that in mind for sure i do believe the next level after this is the uh, boss fight with spider mastermind and that thing doesn't mess around it's got the biggest chain gun in the whole game and it will wreck you from long distance so uh kind of need to know where my uh my chain where my mega health and mega armors are so we can come back and get them in this level and there is a time later on where this entire complex here in the middle will open up and we will be absolutely covered in caco demons but i believe it's not until we open a little door down here oh, okay excuse me my voice is beginning to go a little here because this is going a while this uh this particular stream we must be almost two hours in what do i got i've got three of these one or two awkward sections in this level it uh it's a bit of a maze but we should be okay apart from that one wall that just erected in front of me of course because of course it did now we don't have the right colored skull key to get through there yet so we're gonna have to go around a long way pick these up along the way Switching through here to get them a shotgun. And once again, kind of moaning about it. Alright. Here we 
go into the house line. That was difficult. That was really difficult. Okay. This is exactly where I don't want to be right there. Since I am, I might as well make the most of it. And clear the place out of any pinkies that may attack me later because I'm going to have to go around that way in a little while. Can I get through here again before this radiation suit wears off? Yes, I can. Lovely. I did not mean to pick both of those up. That guy. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good at all. somewhere oh no we'll be coming back to that area later on as well clear up everybody we can in the meantime. Because once this radiation suit goes down, I am in big, big trouble. That's the yellow key card. That is the last section. This still hasn't opened up. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure how to trigger it. So, um... Perhaps that's it. That is it, okay. Plaza Cannon! Alright. Excellent. Let's keep pushing forward. Don't believe that's forward. There we go. Okay, we're going to take a, a bit of a sprint right into the middle here, I think. We can get in here now, so let's do that. There's the yellow key, we do need that. But we will need another teleporter to get us there. Unfortunately, this one will not. I don't want to go back down there because I have no radiation suits left down there at the moment. So we're going to run over here as fast as we can. We can come here later. Okay, not too bad. Let's go for the one that's furthest away first. Doesn't look like there's a whole lot I can do here either, okay. I need to get to that one that's got the, uh, the switch on it over there. That's what I need. Which was in fact this one, okay. Fantastic. There we go, start moving. Yoink. Oh 
Okay, I believe we should now be heading for the uh, the final section. We want that mega armor that was around the outside in here. Great stuff, let's take that. 200 armor, 200 health. I hope I didn't mess up this. I messed it up. Oh no. Oh no, I see where I messed it up as well, oh dear. Oh hey, where even was that? We are gonna take so much damage. In here, perhaps. No. I need to get another one so I can erect a, uh, a, a staircase or a bridge here. Get over there, hit the button that's inside there. I need to get to that button first. Man! Okay. But what teleporter brings me there? I wouldn't mind, I was there already. I was there kind of early. I don't think it's either the ones in there, which means it must be one of the ones downstairs, which is the last place I currently want to go because we're going to be taking a lot of damage down there from the whole time. This could kill us, and I would rather if that didn't happen because we've made it through the entire game. The entire game! without losing a life so far. But I foolishly picked up too many, uh, too many suits my first time through here. And because of that, we're in big, big trouble. Okay, give me just two seconds. Let me see if I can work my head through this. And then we can wonder whether or not we have the, uh, the health to back it up. Right, I don't think we wanted to go to the one on the top left because I think that would just shoot us back to where all the pinkies came from. I'm not entirely sure about the one on the bottom right, but that probably looks like the best bet right now. I think if we sprint this way, we might be able to pick up a uh, one or two radiation suits. So let's make a sprint for it and hope for the best and okay. Slightly better position now, let's see what happens. Nope, not that one. Not that one. Certainly not that one. Just a matter of interest, have I ever told you how utterly disastrous my uh my sense of my surroundings is? Okay. Box of rockets. Not what I'm looking for, but uh has there ever been a time when a box of rockets would not help? And... Oh, and it's all over. Oh, no. Unless... Unless it was this one here. It was! Okay. All right, I was going about it the wrong way around. Excellent. We haven't got quite as much health as I would like us to. But we've got a decent amount. I'm 
still turned around but backwards right here that's the bridge that's the one I need that's gonna bring me home over the hell slime as fast as my little doom legs will carry me uh, if there just happened to be like lots of health around here like a mega health that would be fantastic however I do believe we consumed the only one I know of and I do believe we consumed it maybe a little bit too early wanted that cell right there though and that can definitely come back and bite us especially if this next level is indeed the final level against the final boss the spider mastermind she might trash us in no time well let's find out then all right I did that in the wrong order and my confidence is now officially shot. Let's see what happens. Yeah, this is it, alright. Go with the BFG nine head. There it is. A nice little trap there, as soon as I walked in, all of the doors open. Okay, keeping it at bay as best we can, I don't want to get too close to it. I think we just killed it, there we go, alright! And down it goes. Ladies and gents, that is Doom! One of the greatest games ever made by far. Lots of trophies there, nice one. One of my all-time favourites, one I keep coming back to, and one that I have bought on any system that I've owned that it's been available on. It's absolutely fantastic. It's still a rush after all of these years. I can't get enough Doom. I really, really can't. I will be going out of my way now to pick up Doom 2 and stream that as soon as possible, but for the moment it's all Doom 1. There is another chapter which I be don't believe was originally released with Doom. I believe Doom was released with three chapters. They added a fourth at a later date and that fourth kicked my butt so I'm not going to play through it. Also a little bunny survived. One little bunny. I love it, look, there's what a mess. We already have a lineup for Doom 2 here. Hell on earth, that poor, the rest of the poor bunnies did not survive. But yet, Die Flesh Consumed, I believe, was added at a later date. I could be wrong about that. But on ultra violent mode, it is just so, so, so difficult that I don't have a huge amount of fun playing it. So I'm not going to attempt that one. But we have had the first three chapters, which I believe is the entirety of the original release Doom on Ultra Violence Mode. And indeed, we did not lose a life 
along the way at all. We saved a handful of times, but we never had to reload, so I'm very, very happy about that. That is knee deep in the dead, that is the shores of hell, and that is inferno. And you have been watching the Galway Gamer, or that the tag is right here, the Galway Gamer FM. You can catch me every week at 2 p.m. on Flirt FM 101.3, spinning all your favorite video game jams, interviewing anybody you can, and um, talking about all manner of video game news. You can also keep up on Facebook, that is facebook.com forward slash Galway Gamer, and indeed on Twitter. And the handle there is simply at the Galway Gamer. This has been an absolute riot. It's the only reason I bought Doom once again was just to stream it, just to go for it and see what happens. And it's been a blast from start to finish. It genuinely has. Thank you very, very much for tuning in. I did just realise that I've never finished off my um my Duke Nukem playthrough, so the next stream may be the final chapter of Duke Nukem 3D, which I believe is Shrapnel City. So, let's see what happens. Tune in next week, 8pm, Friday evening. I've been the Galway Gamer. Thank you very much for joining me.